Now, let me show you how you can style this basic WordPress theme and make it more attractive. So I'm going to just open my editor and right here you can find the style.css file. Now inside it, we have a simple header section where we specify the information of our theme to the WordPress. Now just out of this header, I'm going to style this WordPress theme. So I'm going to first select the body tag and to this body, I'm going to specify color. The color of this body is hex value. So I'm going to specify hex value here. Then I'm going to specify font family. So I'm going to say font family is going to be this Cambria. And the font size is going to be 16 pixel. Just after that, I'm going to select the header. And I'm going to select the class of this header, which is header area. So if we just take a look at this header, you can notice we have a class here, header area. I'm going to select it and specify some styling. But before I specify any styling to it, I just want to split the style sheet right here. So I'm going to click on this icon, split editor right, like this. Now you can see I can work with two files now. So I'm going to just minimize it, just open my header.php. And right here, I'm going to first specify styling to this header section. So I'm going to just specify here in the header section. I'm going to first specify background and the background is going to be light blue. Color is going to be black and margin. I want to specify margin to it. Zero for the top and bottom and auto for the left and right. Then padding. I want to add 15 pixel padding to the header and text align is going to be center. Along with that, I want to specify width and width is going to be 60%. Now when I save all the changes and just reload my website, you can notice I have this style to my header, right? Now, I'm going to just select this anchor tag, this one and specify some style to it. So I'm going to first select header, then select header area and then select h1 heading tag. And the anchor tag and to this anchor tag i'm going to first specify text decoration none so this will remove the border of this anchor tag then i will specify color which is black and font size is going to be 28 pixel just start that i'm going to select this description this one so i'm going to simply select the header then select the header area and then select h3 heading tag and I want to specify color to it black and font size is going to be 16 pixel save the changes and reload the browser you can notice we just specify some different styles to this header and this tagline now just out of that let me just style this content section of this website so I'm going to just specify styling to this main tab. So I'm going to just specify here id main. So using this id, we can access this main tab. Just after that, in the style.css, so I'm going to select the id using hash main. And I'm going to just specify display grid. And create two columns. So I'm going to say grid template columns. So I'm going to specify 70% space to the first column and 30% space to the second column. Just after that, I'm going to specify width to this main tab and the width is going to be 60%. Just after that, I want to center this main content horizontally. So I'm going to call margin left auto and margin right auto. Save all the changes and just reload your browser. Now you can notice we have two columns here. The first column has 70% width and the second column has 30% width. Now let me just style this footer. So I'm going to just open my style.css and down here, I'm going to first select the footer. So you know that to select the footer, we just need to select this footer tag. So I'm going to say here footer and to this footer, I'm going to specify background and I'm going to specify hex value here, which is 424040 then I'm going to specify color which is white height is going to be 
60 pixel. Then I want to specify margin to it. So I'm going to say margin and I want to center this footer horizontally. So using these two properties, you can center your footer or you can just simply specify here 0 for the top and bottom and auto for the left and right. You can either use these two properties or just use this one. Now just out of that, I'm going to specify width and the width is going to be 60%. Save the changes. Now let me just style this text. Now let me just style this simple text. So I'm going to just first select a footer then select a paragraph and I'm going to specify padding to it. Padding is going to be 15 pixel for the top and bottom and 5 pixel for the left and right. Then I'm going to specify text align which is center and I'm going to select this anchor tag and specify color white. So I'm going to select here a footer and select anchor tag and I want to specify color to it which is white. Save all the changes, reload your browser. If you want, you can specify different font size to it. But now what I want, I want to move this sidebar in this second column. And I want to move this content in the first column. So I'm going to just open my index.php file. And right here, I'm going to just change few things. I'm going to just grab this loop. So I'm going to just select this PHP syntax. I'm going to just cut this code and just create here a section tag and specify class post area and inside it i'm going to paste that loop and just on that you know that in the sidebar we have this aside html tag i'm going to copy it paste it just after this section tag right here and i'm going to just get rid of this h1 heading tag and just grab this get sidebar template tag and paste it inside this aside like this Save all the changes and now reload your browser. Now when I reload my browser, you can notice I have my sidebar in the second column and all the content in the first column. Now you can notice we just achieved the simple layout of this website. Now in the previous lecture we just worked with this header and the footer and we also moved the sidebar to the second column. Now let's move on and understand how we can properly display blog post in the WordPress theme. You can notice here we have a title of the blog post and the content but you can't click on this title. Now let me show you how you can make this blog post interactive. So let's head on to your editor and just open your index.php file. And now we just need to make few changes in this header file. Now you know that using this loop I'm going to display different blog post in my index file. So why don't we add an html inside this loop. So I'm going to just add html inside this loop and just add article html element to the blog post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this PHP right here and just open it down here like this right and I'm going to get rid of this content and inside this loop I'm going to create here article html element. So I'm going to say here article and to this article I'm going to specify a PHP template tag post class and just out of that I'm going to specify ID to it and I'm going to specify ID post and I want to specify here WordPress template tag the the ID. Now let me explain this line first. This tag is an HTML markup that tells the browser that the tag article is the start of the new single article including the post class CSS declaration this one now the post class template tag display the classes for the post container element so using this template tag you can style this article now just after that we use id here to identify this article uniquely we specify the hard-coded value post and we get the value of this post id using this the id template tag now the id template tag display the id of the current item in the wordpress loop. So this will return the current item id to this id. So you can easily access this article using the id. Just after that down here I'm going to just add h1 heading tag and inside it I'm going to add anchor tag. And to the anchor tag I want to display the title of the blog post. So I'm going to simple call php 
and inside it i'm going to call a wordpress template tag which is the title so using the title template tag i'm going to get the block title in this index file now just out of that take a look at this anchor tag i want to make this title clickable so when you click on this title i want to redirect user to the specific blog post so to do that to this anchor tag href attribute i'm going to first specify php syntax and call a template tag the param link this param link template tags tells your browser to display the title of your blog post that's clickable and you can redirect to the blog post so if you take a look at this anchor tag you will get your post title url in this href attribute so if i just save all the changes you can notice here we have the blog post title here and we can now click on this title now if you just take a look at the source code you can notice right here you can notice we have the href attribute to my specific blog post by clicking on this anchor tag we can redirect to new first post and by clicking on this anchor tag we will redirect to hello world blog post as simple as that just out of that when we have this title in the website i want to display the date and the time when the post was made so i'm going to just simply here create a simple date and time just out of this h1 heading tag i want to display the date and time when the post was made so right here i'm going to call a division tag and specify a class to it post meta and inside this div i'm going to simply call post posted on and just call a php syntax like this and just call a simple template tag which is the date so using the simple the date template tag you can get the date of your blog post just out of that i'm going to just specify here add call the php syntax again and then go the time now this template tag will print the time of your blog post now let me just explain these both template tags now this template tags display the date and time when the blog post was made with this template tags the date and the time format are determined by the format you set on the dashboard now if we just take a look at the dashboard setting if we just head on to the dashboard and just head over to setting and click on the general you can notice here we have setting for the date and time right here from this setting you can change the format of your date and the time i'm going to leave this as it is and just save my file and just open my website and just reload it so now you can see we have the date and the time here now just after that what i want i want to display the category as well in which category i posted both these posts so i'm going to just simply back to my editor and just out of this posted on i'm going to just call here posted in and i'm going to call here a php syntax and say the category now this template tag display the list of the categories to which you have assigned the post such as post in now let me just save all the changes back to my website reload it you can notice here i have a category right we have books category to this first post and uncategorized to the second post if i specify two categories to this first post i'm going to have your books and uncategorized now you're not limited to specify only one or two categories to the specific post you can specify number of categories to the single post that's upon you for example if you just click on these books this will filter all the books for you automatically and if you click on this uncategorize this will display all the uncategorized blog post in front of you now if you just take a look at the source code you can notice we have the category section here in the ul tag now what i want i want to remove this style from this ul tag so i'm going to just simply open my style.css and i'm going to just first click main tag and inside it i have the post area this one and just out of that i'm going to select post meta and inside the post meta i have ul tag so i'm going to specify style to it i'm going to say list style type none save the changes reload your browser you can see you don't have this disk here now just out of that i want to display my content as well but before i display it i want to just move this post in on the next line so i'm going to simply wrap these categories in the new division tag so i'm going to say here div category and inside it i'm going to paste these categories so you will get this category on the new line just out of that i'm going to make this ul tag 
inline so i'm gonna say display inline lock see all the changes you can notice we have this category on the same line now just after that i want to display the block content on this website so i'm gonna just back to my editor and in the index file right here i'm gonna just simply call a php tag and call a wordpress template tag the content so using this template tag we can display the actual content of the blog post so i'm going to save all the changes and when you reload your browser you can notice we have the actual content of my blog post just out of that i want to display my author name as well so why don't we add here just out of this division tag i'm going to add another div and specify author to it and in this author i'm going to call a php syntax and say the author so i'm going to simply call the author template tag now this template tag will display the author name on the post for example if this post posted by the author admin this will display admin on the post save all the changes and reload your browser you can notice here we have admin now what if if i just click on this my first post when i click on it you can notice i will redirect to my post link you can notice here and i'm going to have all the content of my post here now let me just back to my home page you can just back to your home page by clicking on this wp daily title as well let me show you if i just click on this hello world and if you want to back to your home page just click on this wp daily when you click on your title you will redirect to your home page now you don't want to display the whole content of your blog post on the index file instead you want to just specify a few words in the index file and when the user click on the read more button we want to display all the content to the user so in that case we have a simple template tag for that so what i want i want to just display a short summary of this blog post so in that case i'm going to just get rid of this the content template tag so i'm going to just comment it and right here i'm going to just call a simple template tag called the except now using this the except template tag we are going to display summary of the post so we can attract the reader to read the complete post by clicking the read more button so this template tag will display 55 words from the main content so when i save all the changes you can see we have 55 words here now we can attract the user to read all the post by clicking on the read button i'm going to show you how you can create a read button later in this course but for now now let me just put these all three lines in the same row so why don't we just specify here a span tag and specify a class to it so i'm going to specify here date then i'm going to create here a span tag and specify category and create a span tag and specify author and i'm going to just grab this content paste it inside this date like this grab this post it in paste it inside this spawn tag of category and this author i'm going to paste it inside this author spawn tag i'm going to get rid of this division tag save all the changes you can notice i have my post meta section on the same line as you can see the basic styling is now ready now the main focus of this session is to make you familiar with the wordpress so I'm not going to waste your time by styling this section. I'm going to leave the style sheet as it is. Now, in the next lecture, we'll understand what is action and the filter hooks. We're also going to see how we can use the very useful template file functions.php. So, I will see you in the next one.